Hi guys, it's Anne Marie, and I am here with my August favorites. I have quite a few things, quite a few makeup y things, but let's just get into it. So, one of the things that I'm loving is a fashion thing, and that is the choker. The choker is back. I always had this love hate relationship with the choker. I love chokers because I feel like they're very elegant, but to me, you have to get the right thickness because it can make your neck look thicker or shorter. Or and or shorter. And so I was kind of like,、mm, I don't know about this. Then my sister Angela, she like has so many chokers. She was like, I'll give you some chokers. I was like, okay, let me, let me figure it out. But then we saw this choker, which combines not only velvet choker, which I love because I love velvet, but I also love cameos. I have little cameo brooches that my mom gave me, and I'll pin them on like jeans, I'll pin them on my jean jacket, my jean vest. Uh, sweaters, cardigans. I especially love to mix cameos with the unexpected, so I'll choose like this motorcycle y look or this, this boyish, masculine, really rugged or chill vest with the cameo. Kind of like mixing it up and kind of juxtaposing those two elements. But of course, a cameo on a choker is very classic. And this was really great. This is from Forever 21, so this is one of my favorites. I really love it. I'll probably be rocking it a lot. Yeah. I do wish that I could get it up one more. I think the perfect height would actually be right here, but this is as small as it'll go, and so sometimes it dips down there, but it just won't go. So it's always something. But I still love it because it has the cameo and it's velvet and black. It's just very classic. Love it. So, moving on from fashion, let's go into some of the makeup things. If you watch some of my tutorials, you'll remember some of these things. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Caramel. This is medium to full coverage. I use Makeup Forever's HD foundation a lot. Still love that one. But I also really love this. Now, I was using the caramel in my tutorial, but I began to mix caramel with mocha. Mocha is a little darker. It also has reddish undertones, so it's too red for me. But I feel like it kind of balances out the caramel. I actually recently used two parts mocha, one part caramel. That's not the right combination. I think I need to do two parts caramel with one part or less of mocha. But in my tutorial, I use just caramel. So that, that just works fine too. But I feel like the perfect blend, and I'm really particular, would be a little of the mocha. And that's what I did. So that's what I've been using. I love this because it really does have a seamless finish. Now, on the one hand, the Makeup Forever, it doesn't really come off. So, once you put it on, it's, it's really great, especially if you're performing, if you're in front of hot lights, because it will stick. It doesn't come off on your clothes as easily as other foundations. This one might come off a little more, but it's seamless and it does not separate. Literally, you can put it on at like eight in the morning and it is eight o'clock at night and it just does not separate, which Is amazing and it goes on very thin when you use the beauty blender, so I'm loving it.、Uh, highly recommend this foundation if you guys haven't tried it. Give it a try. Go to the store, go to Sephora, or who else sells Too Faced? I'm not sure, but check it out. Give it a try. Put it on in daylight, walk around in it a little bit, ask for a sample. I really, really like this a lot. Another thing I've been loving is the Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is the palette in light to medium. There's another one, I don't know what it's called, maybe it's Medium to dark, I'm not sure, but this is light or light to medium. And I'll show you what it looks like. Really great. Now, this is really a sculpt and a highlight, in my opinion, unless you are extremely, extremely fair. I mean, like porcelain skinned. This isn't going to do much sculpting, so I feel like this does better with mixing the two for a little bronzy look. You can just use this by itself as well, but I feel like it mixes really well. There's a highlight by Glossier. Or glossier called quartz. There's two, there's another one, but the quartz one's like the more universal shine. I want to get that one so badly. It's been out of stock for a long time, but my intention was to use that either by itself or with this over it. So I really can't wait till that one comes out because it's a, it's a stick highlight. So I feel like having that stick and then having just a little bit of this would be amazing because you can't use too much of this because it'll get too powdery looking because it is a powder, but it is. Fantastic. I use this on my Cupid's bow. I use it right here on my Philtrum. I use it on the inner corners of my eyes over NARS's Hollywood Land. This is an amazing product. So, one of my faves. Plus, it comes in this really cute Art Deco design. Like, look at how gorgeous it is. Another favorite Urban Decay's Vice in Disturbed. This is a comfort matte. It's matte, but it's comfort. 
This is the first time I tried this lipstick and I love it. I do love a dark color every now and then. It's what I'm wearing right now. Here's the thing, with dark lipsticks, they can go patchy. When you put them on, sometimes the color deposits a little darker in a section where your lips are slick. It kind of gets a little lighter. This, the girl at the store told me that this was very, very rich and heavily pigmented and that it went on very smooth. And I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a try. And I hadn't tried this vice which she said was a new formulation she used all of them she said she loved them and she had almost all of the vice collection it isn't patchy it goes on it's very rich it didn't take a lot of product definitely going to be trying more of these colors here's a little notebook i love this notebook i just recently purchased this i think i got this from nordstrom's i love that it says i am very busy i love the color combination there's nothing like a fresh notebook you know what i mean like it's just something it just feels like I think fresh paper just signifies like fresh possibilities, new beginnings, any new projects that you have in mind. It just like, ah, I mean, it smells good and it just feels kind of like, yeah, whatever I want to do, I can do it. This is by Bando. I love the sticker here because for some reason it makes me feel like it's still new. <laughs> they have lots of cute products. I went to their website actually and they had lots of cute little notebooks with sayings on them and stuff. I am very busy is what it says on the front. You're straight up magic. Just a little reminder in case you forget. Another favorite. So yes, I have my clip here. I guess I could have gotten a new bag. I was like, this is open <laughs> and it has the clip. So we're just gonna stick with this. Let me just give you a little background with me and popcorn. So I love popcorn. When I go to the movies, I have to have it. I love the arc light because they have the best popcorn. That's why I stick to that theater. Perfectly popped. I'm really picky about my food anyway, and I love it. Now I also love the Chicago style popcorn, where it's that bright orange cheddar with the caramel, although I usually like more cheddar than less caramel ratio. 75% cheddar, 25% caramel. Let me put the bag down now. I'll bring you back up in a second. Okay, so love that popcorn. A long time ago, I fell in love with Smart Pop. Smart Pop? I think it was Smart Pop. You know what comes in the black bag? It's the white cheddar. That was like my favorite popcorn. There's an issue though because I'm not supposed to drink milk or any milk products. It doesn't mean that I stay away from it necessarily all the time, but I always pay for it because it always gives me hormonal pimples. When I have any kind of dairy, I'm going to get that like hormonal pimple on my chin. I already get that maybe once every couple of months anyway, but that'll make it so that month I may have two or three, or I get two, and then the next week. It's just, it just happens, and it really makes sense. If you have issues with cystic acne or hormonal pimples, you really should see what's going on with you regarding dairy, because dairy comes from, you know, lactating cows, and there's a lot of hormones there. And it's not really natural that we drink cow milk. I mean, think about it. Would you really want to drink a human mom's milk? Would you really be like, the, uh, I mean, we, we find that kind of gross, I think, but then we're eating milk that's for a baby cow. Like I'm not a baby cow, so yeah, I might not be able to handle it very well in my system, but I mean, I'm not a baby cow, so that's, there, that's really no surprise. Anyhow, love ice cream and all that stuff like that, but yes, it was just wreaking havoc on my skin, so I had to stay away from Smart Pop. Fast forward, I fell in love with this one popcorn. I can't remember the name of it now, but it, you've seen it before. It comes in the red bag. They have like barbecue, they have classic movie theater popcorn. Also, I think their signature is like the salty sweet. It's the one that has a, a slight sweet taste. But then I was like, I just felt like it was like an arm and a leg for that popcorn. I was like, it's just like way too much with my popcorn habit. So then I switched over to Trader Joe's popcorn, which had just their regular plain movie theater popcorn. Very tasty, loved it. Fast forward again. So then a friend of mine has Skinny Pop or requests Skinny Pop send me some of their popcorn, right? So I was like, okay, uh, they told me about it. And I was like, well, sure, I'll try it. But I kind of really like love the popcorn I have already. It was the red, the bread bag that I like before. I can't remember the name. And then I was really kind of doing the Trader Joe's a lot, which I really liked. So then they send a skinny pop. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if this is gonna have any flavor in it. So then I give it a try. It is delicious. Not only is it delicious, it's I think it's like fewer calories, but I honestly wasn't paying attention to that because I didn't have a problem with the calories in the popcorn that I was eating before. It's just kind of like a nice aside that it has less calories. Okay, 43 calories per cup. Kind of doesn't matter because I kind of eat way more than a cup, which I guess is, I guess is less calories still. But like I said, that's not the reason why I love this popcorn. That's just a great addition. No GMOs, gluten free because I have to be gluten free. If I if I'm not gluten free, I also break out. Besides the fact that I get wheezy and all this other stuff like that, but I break out. It's just not good for me. So gluten free, dairy free. That's how I really have to be. Although sometimes I might slip up. So I love the fact that it's no artificial ingredients, non GMO, gluten free. 
43 calories per cup, even though I eat many cups. Uh, yeah, I keep, I'm kind of like on my Olivia poop when it comes to popcorn. I love that this is white cheddar. That's what I love because I missed it so much. The black bag that I told you about, Smart, Smart Pop or whatever, that was like my favorite. So I thought I would never be able to have cheesy popcorn again. Sometimes I would cheat and I would have the Chicago popcorn, you know, with the orange cheddar, with the caramel. So. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna cheat. When I when I go to Chicago or when a friend of mine decides to send me some popcorn, I'm going to have that, yes. But I kind of eat popcorn every day or every other day. Okay, not every other day. I'm kind of saying that because like I'm, I know my mom's watching this. <laughs> she really is like, have mommy's popcorn. Mommy's popcorn consists of cauliflower chopped up and she really wants me to eat that. That's what she wants me to eat in lieu of popcorn. She wants me to take it to the movies and just eat straight up cauliflower. And although I love cauliflower and I love hummus dip and everything like that, it doesn't, that is not a substitute for popcorn. It, she calls it mommy's popcorn because it's like a reminder. So she tries to like guilt me into eating that. Anyhow, so I'm just gonna keep it real. I eat popcorn pretty much every single day. And now I can have my white cheddar. What I like to do is mix it in with a regular one so I get a little bit of the white cheddar and then a little bit of the regular one. So that's that. I feel like we spent a lot of time on the popcorn, but I have to thank Skinny Pop because Skinny Pop did send me a big box which was really awesome of them, full of popcorn. I'll show you the box they sent me actually, which was really cute, a special gift for Amory. I know my mom is gonna be like, you do not need that big box of popcorn, but I do, mommy, I do. Before I even get into one of my favorite TV shows, this is, this is not a favorite, but I just have to talk to someone about this. Okay, you guys know that I've been watching The Good Wife. I stayed away from the internet regarding the show because I knew I was so behind. I think we were like on the second or third season, and I think it's all finished now. I, I don't even know. But for those of you who haven't watched it, I won't spoil it for you, but for those of you who have, I was just so angry at this show. You know when the person died. I kept waiting for it to be a dream. I was like, is this a dream? Hold on, wait, this is not for real. And then first of all, you know, you're watching it and you're like, okay, it's gonna, you know, they're gonna walk into the courtroom and, and it's, it's gonna be, this person's going to be all right. And then it, it wasn't. Then I was still in the hospital. I was still like, wait a minute, uh, he, he's, uh, wait a minute, they're, they're gonna come back because they're about to bring in the paddles, but no one's rushing over there. I'm like, they're gonna bring the pa paddles in. And that doesn't happen. Then they're all crying and I'm like, uh, I think if this person hasn't been resuscitated at this point, there's going to be severe brain damage. Maybe this is happening. And then I was like, is this a bad dream? Maybe in a couple, like an episode ago, we saw one of the characters go to sleep and then that's why like, this is all a dream? Cause I was like, wait, what? I was so angry. It's one of the first times, even when Eddard Stark was killed on Game of Thrones, I wasn't as ticked off as I was with when this happened. I was so freaking mad. I was so angry. Like I literally looked at my hubby and I was like, I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this show. I was like, this is stupid. I was like, I'm mad. I don't want to watch this anymore. I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. I was so mad. And then I waited for the next episode and they weren't back. Then the funeral happened and I was like, wait, is this like, maybe this is a trick? You know, it wasn't really that person's body. And then I was like, no. And then I was like, okay, so this, maybe this is happening. I was like, this person must've wanted to get off of the show or they must've felt like they didn't want to renew their contract. But this makes no story sense at all. Storytelling license are just amping up. It makes no sense. Anyway, I just needed to vent about that. Don't say who it is for those who didn't watch this, but let me know how you felt about this person's death in the comments below, because I know we were not the only ones. I was so angry. I still get angry thinking about it now. And the thing that's so crazy is it's very realistic because in real life, unfortunately, that's what happens in tragic circumstances. A person is here one moment and then they're, they're just gone the next. And it just doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't it doesn't fit into any narrative. You just can't believe it and you're angry. Like all of those things that I feel like a person would truly feel, I felt. Complete side note, also what I meant to tell you about the Urban Decay's Vice Lipstick, it does not come off on your teeth. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. I just need to stop talking about it because I'm still getting angry. Like I had a dream about it. I was just so upset. That had nothing to do with my favorite things. Although I could say that yes, that has become one of my favorite things. The show really amped it up in this last season that we're on. I. I don't know what season it is because I'm watching Netflix so it all rolls in together. Also, Narcos, one of my favorites, is back. Another Netflix show I'm loving. You guys have probably heard a lot of people talking about it. 
we zoomed through the entire season. I mean, I think there were only eight episodes or so. Stranger Things. If you guys haven't seen it, it's amazing. You've probably heard a lot of people talking about it. Go watch it. After you watch this video, just at least watch the first episode. It's creepy, it's exciting, it's fun. The music is really awesome. It reminds me of the Drive soundtrack. The soundtrack was really killer. You don't really see a lot now. Like in the 80s, a lot of the movies, like The Goonies, like Explorers, they featured young children as the protagonist doing crazy adventurous things so you would went on an adventure with children who are the main characters it's just fantastic creeped me out scared me bittersweet if you know what i mean so there's going to be a season two but i'm not sure what they're going to do with season two because i don't know if it's going to be the same characters or if we're kind of continuing where we left off because we very well could but there's something about the story that kind of feels finished even though it's kind of open-ended. And Winona Ryder is amazing in this show. So let me know what you guys think when and if you watch it, but I highly recommend the show. Also, I finished watching Downton Abbey, which I guess I can throw into my favorites for this month. I finished watching the season. I watched it in like four days and I really love where things left off. I think it was really great. I'm not going to put any spoilers in here because I don't know how much of this show that you've watched or if you finished the whole thing. I was waiting for it to show up on Amazon Prime. But I'm really happy with where things left off. They, they kind of like wrapped each character or the character pairings, like their relationships into kind of like, like a neat bow. Normally I don't love neat bows, but for this show, because it is the way it is, I felt like it was perfect. Don't really have a favorite book. I did really enjoy The Girls by Emma Klein, which is one of my favorites of the year, but I talked a lot about that in my July wrap-up slash August TBR, but I didn't really read that in August. I believe I read that in July, so that doesn't count. I don't really have a favorite book for this month. I was reading Dark Matter, but I DNF'd it. It was feeling too much like a screenplay for me. I think it'd make a really cool movie, but as a book, it wasn't like the best reading experience. No book for this month, but next month, check back with me. So those are my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know about what you thought about some of this stuff below. Let me know what some of your favorites are for this month. And if you have something to say about the, the good wife, the thing that I'm talking about in the good wife, this character's death, Please don't mention the character's name below. Let me know what you thought about it, because I was mad. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Please share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me on the gram, as well as Snapchat, and check out my blog, ghostbdamory.com. If you are on Blog Lovin', follow me there as well so you don't miss any posts.